Okay, so we are back, and we may actually finish Hugo's route today. Hopefully we will. Uh, was there anything else we needed to do? Everything we have is maxed. Uh, all we're missing is one treasure, which I can't remember. I think that might be the, the actual Black Pearl, but... No, this is where the Dreaming Idol was before. Um, so I don't know what's going to be there for Hugo. Alright, so... I believe last time I said we were probably going to face Toal next. So let's... let's go. Yep. Let's see, what do I want? I want that. Yeah, I'm really curious what Toll is thinking about all this. All right, let's do this. Okay, he has like moments where he's just standing still, so those are good times to attack. Gotta make sure I have this shield up at, like, all times. But that's probably gonna get harder in later phases.
yeah, the time he's spending idle is slowly shrinking as I damage him more and more. Yeah, this is not really that hard. I waited a long time to say it because I didn't want to jinx myself, but... This is actually totally doable. Totally fine. This shield is really, really powerful. my affairs, so this whole deal is kind of... seems like it, it was Toal's plan from the beginning to stop all this, and he was just kind of doing it from the inside. And they never really... there was never really any reason for us to think otherwise, I mean, I don't really think that's too much of a, a pull. And like the characters were mostly on the same page too, so it could that's it's like a development that could be seen as jarring in some games, but I think it was executed okay in this one. Uh, of course, we'll have to see it in more detail in uh, Toll's route. I mean, the fact that he's saying that means that whatever you do is whatever he was planning to do.
Alright, so we're gonna go back and save. What happens if I, uh... Yeah, okay, so they're on their way up. Okay, so maybe Hugo just doesn't have the final treasure. I don't know. That might be something I have to look up after I beat the game. Because there's clearly a spot for something else, and I'm pretty sure that was the Dreaming Idol in Unica's Root, so I don't know what it is in this one. There's, there's still time though, there could be something. <laughs> Alright, so... Pass this way should be the end of the game, pretty much. The end of Hugo's route, anyway. But I'm assuming we're going to have to deal with Dallas, and I don't think that's going to be easy. Oh yeah, there's going to be some enemies, isn't there? It's kind of like a a few farmable enemies in the final area, if I recall. Of course, I could be, could be completely wrong. Nah, I didn't think so. I guess I should put this on. Here's the final save point. Alright, so... Um, is there any blessings we want to get? None of these really matter for a final fight. So, I guess not. I mean, there's a chance he could poison us or something, but I don't know. I, I think it'll be fine. So he needs both the goddess and the pearl to complete his ritual. So maybe the first part of bringing East down to the ground could have been, uh, or Solomon trying down to the ground, maybe that part could have done been done without them. And then they would have just taken the goddess and the pearl from uh, the, gra the uh, Solomon shrine. But I don't know. Because right now it's looking like there's there was no reason for uh, the goddesses to come here. Other than to get captured. Although I guess... Uh, I guess it's not like they had any inclination that that would happen. And they are supposed to be very powerful. So, 
it makes sense that they would try to solve resolve the situation. But they don't seem very powerful right now with their, uh, well, in those shackles and barriers and stuff. Although, Fina should be out of hers by now. Well, I'm not sure that uh, crashing the shrine to the ground will kill everyone who dwells within. Otherwise, the ending of East 2 just got a lot scarier. <laughs> Spoilers. Then we'll just have to use abnormal attacks. Oh wait, we don't have any of those. Yeah, that barrier is not going to hold. <laughs> I have a feeling it's not going to hold that long in the boss fight anyway. I wonder if, I guess her would refer to Epona here, and not Miosha.
Nothing we haven't seen before. Alright, so let's do this. Uh, I don't know how to damage him like this. Because this shield doesn't do damage. Or maybe I just have to have the shield up and attack.
There goes our charm. I mean, we're, we were pretty sloppy this time, so... If we die, I think we can get it next time. We didn't win, did we? That can't be it. Well, okay. That was easy. I guess it's because we already learned all his moves with Unica, so... But I'm pretty sure Hugo is just straight up stronger, to be honest. That shield is, like, completely broken. You don't actually have to dodge most of his attacks. Hitting them, like being hit by them like a few times is okay. So he's way more, uh, playing as Hugo is, Hugo is way more forgiving than Unica. That might be true. I kind of want to know what's up with that. I hope this game goes into it. But I imagine without the context of East 4 behind this, that just seems like a reference to Dark Fact in East 1. So there's actually a bit of extra depth to that that I would have missed otherwise if I wasn't playing East 4. Well, oh, and there goes Dallas. I guess this is why they're here, because they need to seal this, which they couldn't do otherwise. And nobody else can do this, so... But it's not even a permanent solution.
now for probably pretty much the same scene as at the end of Unica's route. Now at least it makes sense why Hugo stayed behind in the other route. Because it didn't seem to make sense before, but we just didn't know his motivations for doing so, but now we do. Bet you that's going to get a few exclamation marks. Oh, never mind. Oh, so we didn't die? I find it kind of interesting how human the goddesses are. Like, the way they kind of just admitted to being annoyed at Dallas' words to them. I mean, we know from East 4 that... I don't know, I guess I shouldn't, shouldn't spoil things that I don't have to, but... They have a reason to be upset about that. Unique has been very quiet. <laughs> Yeah, but Unika won't be around for that.
Oh my god, I just realized. Fina stays with Sarah, who is Unika's descendant. That's really... That's kind of an, a layer of depth that I never considered before. Oh, Roy survived in this one. Did he survive in the other one? I can't remember. I don't think he did. You're a tree, get over it. little thing I forgot to mention last time. Well, I didn't forget to mention it. I forgot, forgot it entirely. It was only thanks to uh, East 4 that I remembered, but in addition to Dark Fact, there was also Keith Fact, the other descendant of potentially either Hugo or Toal. So, that's interesting. It would make sense if Keith Fact was a descendant of Hugo, and Dark Fact is a descendant of Toal, but then vice versa could also be um, could also be equally plausible, or they could both be descendants of the same.
And there's our little sneak peek of the the uh, Roy Unica dynamic if we happen to be playing Hugo's reversed. And there we go, that's that's another route done. I'm actually really, really interested to see where the toll route goes. I might even uh, record another one right after this. Just because I really want to play Toll's route. So that was Hugo's route. Um, yeah, I actually I liked Hugo a lot. I think I liked Hugo's route more than Unica's, but I liked Unica's because it was kind of like an introduction to the whole. Uh, it, it it served as kind of like a template, so that uh, Hugo's route could, could sort of like deviate from that template, and uh, I feel like both of them kind of complement each other in that way, especially if you play Unica's first and then Hugo's. I have no idea what it'd be like to play the opposite, but I have a feeling, uh, I don't know, I have a feeling it wouldn't have the same impact. The the one thing that uh, kind of fell flat for me is Epona's death, I felt, was kind of like really sudden, and there wasn't much fanfare to it, but I don't know. I feel like there, there could have been like a, we could have at least had a fight with her beforehand, or, I don't know. Just like a little bit more to resolve that whole thing, but other than that, I, uh, I, I actually really liked this route. There's the uh, villages. I wonder if that's either Zepic or. Yeah, it's probably Zepic. No, actually, that could be. Maybe uh, the. I, I guess n nothing that's around today would be around in Mysteria, so. It's probably just some unnamed village that happens to be around the same area. But it could also be the place that uh, Epona and Kishkel are from. See, I'm assuming they're from Celseta, but they could be from anywhere, really. It just makes the most sense if they're from Celseta, because they're calling themselves Darklings, which we've only heard in Celseta before. I, I, I would bet a lot of money that the... Uh, the Clan of Darkness in East 4 as well is also called Darklings, or the same thing as Darklings in Japanese. See, it says to be continued, 
I wonder if that means Tawal's route is a continuation, or if that means that it just means to be continued in East 1 and 2. But anyway, uh, that's that went a lot shorter than I expected. So... Did we unlock any... anything? I don't know, let's see. So we've got room for a whole bunch more characters. So I'm really, really, really interested to see what uh, Toal's route is like. And then Dallas is the same in uh, Unica's end. Hugo's roots. We've read that already, so. Uh, we didn't read this one, though. Toll Fact, the Believer, confronted in the demonic core tier. Having unleashed the full demonic power within him, he attacked Hugo. Once the fight was over, all traces of malice had completely vanished. Yeah. Alright, so, um, we're going to call it an early episode this time, and uh, next time we're going to pick right up with uh, the beginning of Toal's Root. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I will see you then. So, uh, until then, take care.